Bucharest, the capital of Romania, 2011. Thirteen golden spirals are put on display at the country's National History Museum. Nothing like this has ever been presented to the world. They have a very strong uh, elemental force to them. The Romanian nation is mesmerized. It's the country's biggest archaeological mystery of the last hundred years. Some attribute the golden spirals to the Dacian king Decebal, who ruled nearly 2,000 years ago from the mountains of Transylvania. Are they jewelry or sacred objects under the spell of an ancient curse? Or are the golden spirals sophisticated fakes? Sunt cel mai simplu de, de falsificat. The first reaction was, they can only be fakes. Does history have to be rewritten? Or has the world been deceived by one of the biggest art hoaxes of recent times? New York, 12 years earlier. A mysterious artifact makes a brief appearance at Christie's auction house. A golden spiral. It's one of several in circulation. Some believe the spirals are genuine antiques that were found in the forests of Transylvania. Something like this I've never seen. I hate the word powerful, but when you looked at them, they just, it was as if they had such an, an aura around them. It was as if they were jumping at you. They opened a new world. So gold, gold was for the other world. But others believe the spirals are fakes and part of a huge scam to rip off the Romanian taxpayer. So they give you numbers of people who have bought Aprobarea care a avut-o ca să cumpere aceste brățări, declară chiar loc de unde au brățările. The mystery of the golden spirals goes back five decades, or two millennia, depending on whose story you believe. It covers two continents and involves at least eight countries, including Romania, where a golden spiral made a surprise appearance in 2004 when the criminal prosecutor, Augustin Lazar, was posted to the Transylvanian city of Deva. One and a half decades after the fall of communism, Romania saw a rise in organized crime. Lazar vowed to put an end to the rule of the Deva Mafia. Erau niște grupări care desfășurau diverse activități infracționale și ocupau cu execuțiile de datornici și așa mai departe, dar niște execuții de o manieră violentă. Lazar studied the wiretaps of some of the gang leaders. Și am constatat că o secțiune a grupurilor organizate de acolo se referea tocmai la furtul din siturile arheologice. One word stood out. Gold. Soon, the Deva police headquarters were a buzz with the rumor that the local mafia had looted the long-lost treasure of the legendary Dacian king Dechebal. King Dechebal is a famous figure in Romanian history. He was the last ruler of the Dacians, a tribal kingdom in antiquity. The Dacians controlled what is now Romania for 800 years. King Decebal is best known for his tragic last stand against the Romans in 106 AD, and also known for his vast treasure, said to have been buried before the Roman legions invaded. Asta a fost de natură să mă surprinde și să mă și provoace oarecum cum comoara lui Decebal. Trebuie să fie o legendă. Lazar began to dig deeper. When he reopened a closed police file, he discovered a revealing videotape. It featured a TV program broadcast in March 2002. 
The journalist and presenter Radu Tora discovers a mysterious object with the help of local treasure hunters. The journalist claimed that the spiral had been found near an archaeological site in the forests of Transylvania. It was a challenge to Augustin Lazar, the determined prosecutor. Un jurnalist care a fost brav s-a dus în situl arheologic și a reușit să demonstreze că el poate ajunge la o astfel de piesă. A, a fost o provocare la inteligență. Apoi când am văzut că un jurnalist a putut realiza o problemă ca asta și că e, e posibilă, nu e chiar așa de e, complicat de ajuns la o piesă, am zis și noi vom putea ajunge dacă el a ajuns. În 2004, Lazar opened a criminal investigation to track the golden spiral seen in the TV program. Within a year, 13 people found themselves in court, accused of handling looted artifacts that belonged to the Romanian nation. One of the accused was the notorious gang leader, Julian Cea. Am fost acuzat că aș fi vândut o prețară din aur și sau probabil și alte bunuri. Dacă se din deva și lângă mine se nunți o răștie înseamnă că neapărat e un comercializat brățara lui Starabos, de nu știu care. Trebuie să fim serioși și suntem nebuni. E nebun cel care, care spune treaba asta. Pot să vă răspund simplu, nu am fost niciodată căutător de comori. Lazar's chief witnesses were two forestry workers who said they'd helped treasure hunters discover gold in the mountains of Transylvania. But that was as far as the evidence went. Lazar had no physical evidence to prove his case. No spiral. No gold, only the TV program, featuring a supposedly ancient spiral. Was the TV program part of a scam by crafty antiquities dealers to talk up the price of the spiral and make it look like a genuine antique? It soon transpired that the discovery of the spiral on TV had in fact been staged. Hey. To many observers, the whole thing was beginning to look like a hoax. Gang leader Julian Cea argued that he had no connection to the spiral, even though parts of the TV program had been filmed in his house. I was put at disposition of the house, and even the person I met in the creation of this region had filmed in the mountains of the city, had recorded. Dezgruparea unei uh, podoabe din aur, cred, uh, o brățară. Most local witnesses denied knowledge of any golden bracelets, even though treasure hunting was part of the forest tradition. Excavatoarea. Eu sunt excavatoarea, în carne și oasă. Așa arăt. Cum că eu aș fi descoperit cu o rudă de-a mea două brățări și niște monede, lucru care eu nici nu am văzut așa ceva. The judge ruled in the defendant's favor. Poate că ar fi rămas o perioadă mai lungă în stare de arest preventiv dacă am fi avut o piesă recuperată. The judge argued that a videotape was no proof that the spiral even existed, nor that it was King Decebal's treasure. The suspects were freed from detention. It left Lazar in a quandary. Soon, Lazar the accuser became Lazar the accused. Cheya's bodyguard, Daniel Mock, sticks to the story that he was being framed by the authorities. I'm accused that I'm a thief, 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 cu tehnica comunistă, că pot să zic, din 82 procuror și în 89 era tot procuror și acum e tot procuror. În fabrică un dosar. For Lazar, the ruling was a major setback. Was he hunting a phantom? 
Who could say that the spiral in the TV program was even made of gold? Was the story a con by black market traders trying to deceive potential buyers? Lazar's case may have gone cold if it hadn't been for a determined antiquities expert in the German city of Frankfurt, more than a thousand miles to the west. It was four years earlier, in 2000, when antiquities expert Barbara Deppert had received an interesting proposition. I got a phone call from a dealer, in, from an art dealer, and he asked if I could have a look at two gold objects, and he would send a young man to show them to me. So I said, okay, and the young man came. He opened a plastic bag, and he put them on the table. And I think it was one of the most important moments in my life. The two spirals on Barbara Deppert's table were a mystery. The young man was Romanian, and claimed they'd been found in the mountains of Transylvania. Something like this I've never seen. I hate the word powerful, but when you looked at them, they just, it was as if they had such an, an aura around them. It was as if they were jumping at you. But were the two spirals fake antiques or part of an ancient treasure? And he put it on his arm, and I really thought, this is Decebalos. The young man wanted Dr. Depper to authenticate the spirals as genuine antiques, even though he had no proof of their origin. He wanted to have a piece of paper, and I said, no, I'm not going to give you a piece of paper on this. But if one of the dealers uh, wants to know it, he can call me, he can contact me. So that was the end of it, in a way. After he left, I did a lot of thinking, and I knew that Dr. Lucia Marinesco uh, who at that time had, was a director of the museum in, National Museum in Bucharest and a good friend of mine. And I told her about this gold spirits. And her, react, her first reaction was, they can only be fakes. Barbara Depper didn't hear back about the spirals for more than three years. Then one day, the phone rang. The Romanian criminal prosecutor, Augustin Lazar, asked for a meeting in Frankfurt. I didn't hear anything from the police in, in Bucharest, except that I was shown pictures of these possible suspects whom I did not recognize. So the whole thing stopped. It stopped until Dr. Lazar took over. In 2005, Lazar and a colleague flew to Frankfurt to question Barbara Deppert. We made an appointment, and that appointment was this Italian restaurant, and we happened to sit at exactly this table. I could imagine that they had enough information already, but needed some gaps to be filled. In their meeting, Barbara Deppert explained that the visit by the young man wasn't the first time she'd heard of a golden spiral. She explained that in December 1999, at Christie's auction house in New York, a similar mysterious golden spiral was put up for auction. But without proof of origin, the spiral was withdrawn from the sale and disappeared. In 2003, another golden spiral had surfaced at the shop of an art dealer in London. Its provenance was unknown. The spiral and its owner had soon vanished. One thing was clear. If the golden spirals were genuine, they must have been part of a larger cache of gold. Yet if they were fakes, they were part of one of the biggest art frauds in recent times. We had figured out that by putting our knowledge together, we knew quite a bit. You didn't have the feeling that they were hunting other people. They were hunting the truth. Because at that time, many, many people still said, this is all invented. Well, the meeting ended up that we walked out and snow was falling down and we consider that a very good omen for the future. Barbara Deppert was shown the video with the Romanian presenter finding a golden spiral. For a lover of art and antiquities, the rough handling of the spiral was close to sacrilege. It made me really angry when I saw this film. So I decided one thing, something had to be done about it. One spiral on a TV show, two spirals in Frankfurt, another spiral in London, and another in New York. All five of these spirals vanished. 
To find out if they were fakes or real, Lazar needed to get hold of at least one of them. Because not everyone was convinced that the spirals were for real. He didn't have the, proof, the perfect proof, the proof that the court needed. So he said to me that he would need a piece, and I said, I think you need two. And it became my aim and ambition to find two pieces for him. I made several phone calls to people I knew. And I mentioned this piece, and I mentioned the piece that had been in the Christie sale in 1999. And I mentioned that, and I said, you know this piece, and if you see anything similar, you will have difficulties to sell these pieces. It took maybe three to four weeks, and I got a phone call from a lawyer in New York. And he wanted to have the details. I put him into contact with Dr. Lazar. The American collector told Lazar he had bought four golden spirals. After the prosecutor convinced him that they were looted Romanian property, the collector agreed to send them to Barbara Deppert's care in Frankfurt. Because the American had a valid receipt for his purchase, the Romanian government would pay him back the amount he'd paid for the spirals, $500,000. When they arrived in Germany, Lazar flew to Frankfurt. Primele le am văzut pe cele din Germania, la banca unde erau ele depuse, Frankfurter Sparkasse. Am simțit ceva special când când m-am apropiat de ele și alții au simțit alți experți au avut impresii similare, care foarte greu pot fi descrise. Dar, uh, grosso modo, am avut impresia unei energii puternice uh, pe care le, le emană. In January 2007, the four spirals were brought to Romania. Their arrival had an immediate emotional impact on everyone involved in the investigation. A fost un uh, moment uh, special. Fără să mai pune la socoteală ce sentimente am încercat noi, care munceam de atâția ani și încă nu văzusem până atunci decât în fotografii astfel de piese. Fără îndoială că recuperarea lor a fost un moment de maximă descătușare pentru noi, pentru că, pe de o parte, ne-am lămurit noi propriile noastre semne de întrebare și propriile angoase de ce să nu spunem, Pe de altă parte și-au lămurit experții care până atunci se pronunțaseră asupra imaginilor, fotografiilor cu aceste piese. But in Romania, the question of whether these extraordinary objects were genuine 2,000-year-old antiques continued to puzzle the public. After the arrival of the first four golden spirals, Barbara Devert and three Romanian experts had examined the spirals comparing them to silver artifacts from the time of the Dacians. The experts concluded that the golden spirals were genuine Dacian artifacts and that they were at least 2,000 years old. It looked as though a whole new chapter in Romania's history was about to open. <laughs> if the spirals were as old as the experts claimed, each of them was estimated to be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. But not everyone was convinced that the golden spirals were genuine antiques. Rival Romanian experts soon disputed the scientific reliability of the assessments made by Lazar's team of expert witnesses. Falsuri actuale. Ciudat mi se pare un lucru, că au apărut exact la momentul potrivit, în locul potrivit. Archaeologists were well aware that the Dacians had produced silver jewelry, including spirals, 2,000 years ago. But critics argued that there was no corroborating evidence that the Dacians had ever produced golden spirals as well. Nu se poate face niciun fel de analogie între prețările spiralice de argint și cele de aur, acestea din urmă, pe lângă faptul că sunt singurele din aur, au mai multe spirale și greutăți duble și chiar triple față de originalele copiate. In addition, the spirals looked suspiciously new. 
rather than old and weathered. Nu știu eu dacă nu sunt acele două brățări false făcute așa o făcătură sau mai făcut falsuri ca să ducă lumea în eroare, eu așa cred. Furthermore, the people who'd been accused of looting the spirals from the forests of Transylvania continued to profess their innocence. M-am dus prin pădure și au sărit acele brățări la mine și le-am luat, le-am pus în straiță, m-am dus acasă și le-am vândut. La început m-am amuzat, pe urmă m-am, am zis, Doamne, miluiește-i că nu știu ce vorbesc. N-am săpat eu săp acasă la ceapă și la fasole, dar nu, în pădure n-am săpat niciodată. Julian Cheia, the notorious gang boss who'd been accused of handling the golden spiral in the infamous TV broadcast, appeared on TV to attack the prosecutor and his experts. Unul din ei, Pabe, și el a spune, domnule, adevărul că a fost cam ochiometrică făcută, fiindcă am fost între două avioane și ne băteau pe omor, hai că trebuie să plecăm. Și au avut la dispoziție așa, un șubler, uh, un cântar electronic și o lupă. Și o riglă gradată. Deci cu astea sunt obiectele cu care au făcut expertiza, în baza cărei au dat 8 miliarde. There was another reason why the Romanian public was suspicious of the government's claims that the spirals were genuine. Until 1989, Romania had been ruled by a ruthless communist dictatorship. Bombarded by propaganda, few people came to trust a government that rarely spoke the truth. Even after the fall of Romania's communist regime, corruption remained rife. The fact that the government had paid $500,000 for four spirals made people wonder if officials were on the take. When you talk about a piece of science, a discovery, you don't have to put on the dossier all kinds of documents that, for any reason, I don't know, are still secret. To give you the names of the people who have bought the approval that has had to buy these prices, Lazar was under pressure. The conclusions of his expert witnesses failed to convince the public that the spirals were genuine and that half a million dollars of government money had been wisely spent. One of the arguments put forward by critics was that the spirals couldn't be from Romania because they had all been found abroad. The pressure was on Lazar to investigate if the mysterious golden spirals had any roots at all in his native Romania. In the summer of 2007, Lazar and his colleagues got a lead. The Romanian border police had picked up underworld rumors that a golden spiral might be up for sale. In the past, similar leads had gone cold. Was this new source reliable or just another red herring. The police focused on a man dealing in illegally imported cars near the city of Deva. Kalin Chota was also known as a moneylender and as a lover of dogs. Nedel cum ugur ăsta din Deva. Nu vine la mine și mi-a zis că are nevoie de 20 de mii de dolari. Și dau un promod, în fine, nu mai știu pentru ce și că îmi lasă garanție o brățară de aur găsită prin pământ, cum am zis, că atunci nu se știa de... În fine, au venit cu ea, am văzut-o, într-adevăr, am și la dolar, era aur de 24 de carate. Am văzut-o, mi-am calculat, îmi făcea prețul. În 2003 am avut eu ceva probleme, tot cu mașini, matriculări de mașini. Am fost închis până în 2004, și când am ieșit afară, deja era iureșul ăsta cu brățările dacice, cu... Hmm. Eu brățara era la mine, m-am dus la respectivul și i-am zis, vino și ia un bani și ia-ți <laughs> brățara. Să ia să încerc să-mi recuperez banii cumva. Și prin o cunoștință, am dat un cd -ul. ia și vezi dacă găsești la cine să o dai, mi am dai 100 de de euro și cei peste, <laughs> zic câți, iei tu. The police had got wind of Kalin's possession, but they had no idea where his spiral might be. They taped Kalin as he met a mysterious man, believed to be Ukrainian, who showed an interest in the spiral. 
mă sună cu număr de Ucraina. O să îl cheamă Igor. Igor, așa vorbea și românește. Stru se vedea că avea accent de asta rusesc. Deci, unde sunteți? La o pensiune aici, la intrare în oraș. Eu aveam un merge de să duc mașină. Mă urc în mașină. Mă duc la masă, el era cu încă doi. Na, nu știu, zic, unde-s banii? Păi, mașină. Păi zic, hai să-i văd. <laughs> Am urcat în mașină și îmi dă o pungă plină cu euro. Îți dă că să mă gândesc, eu, cum vii tu să cumperi brățară cu 110.000 de euro? Că 110.000, deci 100 euro. Pentru mine 10.000 erau normal pentru cine făcuse legătura. De n-am numărat jumătate de oră la ei. <laughs> What Colleen didn't know was that the Ukrainian buyer was an undercover police officer. On the 12th of June 2007, the police decided to act. Dar noi am adus pe toți trei, zic, vituși, zic, cu încă unul. Atunci aveam un câine, un cane corso. Ne-am urcat în mașină la, la mine, da? Le-am zis să-și lase telefoanele acolo. Doi vin, ori fie ei mari, dar zic, eu și cu câinele, <laughs> n-au ce face. There was silent amazement among the two undercover cops when they realized where Colleen was hiding his treasured spiral. Brățoara nu cam ținut tot timpul sub cușca câinelui. Numai atunci am gândit că era un câine mare și un prieten de nădejde, am băgat într adevăr sub cușcă, știi, când m-am pregătit să vină ei, să i aduc aici. Domiciliul său a fost percheziționat de vreo două ori, dar niciodată nu s-a reușit să se găsească brățoara. Erau într-o Adică îmi plasă banii și mi-au adus o sticlă de vodcă ucraineană, era așa în trei colțuri, cadou de Ucraina era. Eu vine, mă pun jos, mi-a luat brățara, eu dau, își pune brățara pe mâna stângă și că, băi, ce branduri aveau dacii ăia, nu știu ce, și se ridică în picioare, știi? Mă uitam așa, eu se dă așa încet în spate și văd cu ea către poartă. Și atunci mă ridic și zic, ce faci, voi omule, unde mergi? Dar el nimic, știi, dă să fugă. Când am văzut că fuge repede, am fugit după el, l-am prins aproape de contor acolo. Dar el când a și început să strige, poliția, poliția! Și știu, unul mâna cu mâna stângă și el dă să mă lovească. L-am prins cu dreapta, când ne-a dat o stângă în cap, buf, jos acolo. Ăsta din spate era deja în spatele meu cu sticla și-o dat și mi-o crăpa capul aici. Only now did Colleen realize that he had been the target of a police sting operation and that the man he had punched was a cop. Ai măsurat-o? Un kilo sută? Țineți-o mână un pic. Numai de ceva l-o mai ținut-o asta, doamnă, să aveți noroc. Ce ai vrut să faci de acolo? Păi sunt vânt! Corect, cu cât ai vrut să o vânt? Cu cât mai mult. Haideți, doamnă. Și cât ați v-ați înțeles, doamnă? Cu cât? Cu cât v-ați înțeles, doamnă? Cu cât mai mult, doamnă? The discovery of a golden spiral on Romanian territory was a huge boost to Lazar and his team. Whether they were genuine or fake antiques, the sting operation indicated that the golden spirals originated in Romania. To find out how many more were in circulation, the investigators needed to know who was taking them out of the country. The answer is to do with this city, Belgrade, the capital of Serbia and of the former Communist Republic of Yugoslavia. Belgrade, as you know, is the biggest capital maybe in the whole world for stolen art. So the, let's call it the Serbian Mafia. It would be a number of individuals who would, amongst other things, deal with ancient objects and would have clients in the West. After four decades in the art trade, The Hungarian-born and London-based antiquities dealer William Verres knows the business extremely well. I've known these people as dealers, and as I say, you can look at this in, an, in another context. As I say, if the laws in countries like Serbia and Romania were different, these people wouldn't be much different from myself. The point is, is that this activity you can carry on legally in somewhere like Germany, France, even Italy, let's say, and in other countries, you can't carry it on because of the nature of cultural, the laws of cultural property. 
So how did the spirals get from Romania to Britain and the United States? In the case of these spirals, once you have, once they are here in Belgrade, then of course they go to uh, Vienna, um, Munich, maybe Zurich, and Geneva. These are the, I would say, the first stops. And from here then to America. So it is a personal trade run by professionals who know what they are doing very, very well. The bus drivers, they know where to hide things. So you give them a small package, you know, 500 euros, and I'm sure uh, this can be transported to Belgrade, to Vienna overnight. It's very efficient, like the HL. When an American dealer put another golden spiral up for sale in Paris, its age and origin came under scientific scrutiny. Noi am obținut uh, informația și în aceeași zi din acest birou am contactat atașatul de afaceri interne român de la ambasada din uh, Paris. Its owner had no valid receipt. The spiral was immediately seized by police authorities and sent to the Louvre Museum for expert analysis. To find out if the artifact really was a 2,000-year-old antique, French forensic experts submitted the gold to a full scientific analysis. Its aim was to determine the spiral's geographical fingerprint. The results would establish whether the spirals were genuine or fake antiques. Sunt primii care au făcut trimitere cât se poate declară cu subiect și predicat la proveniența aurului din care a fost confecționată brățara. Și au spus foarte clar, este aur aluvionar, aur, aur natural și care prezintă caracteristicile cât se poate de tipice aurului din zona cadrilaterului aurifer al munților apuse. Și aurul transilvanean are anumite elemente, anumite particularități care îi dau o amprentă specifică, ușor de recunoscut în momentul în care se fac analizele metalografice. De exemplu, nu s-a pus în evidență prezența telurului. Era o dovadă suplimentară că piesele sunt de origină făcute din aur românesc, aur care, de altfel, l-am găsit și în monedă de tip coson fără monogramă ceea ce a fost o descoperire științifică foarte importantă. S-au făcut peste 60 de expertize de diferite tipuri, metalografice, traseologice, compoziționale, toate au ajuns la aceeași concluzie. Piesele sunt originale, piesele sunt antice, piesele sunt realizate în tehnica și în tehnologia specifică epocii dacice. The Paris spiral was sent to Bucharest and added to the growing collection. It was a triumph for Lazar and his team. The investigation entered a new phase. The authorities needed to establish exactly where and how the golden spirals had been found. The answer might throw new light at a key question. Were the spirals ornate pieces of jewelry or were they objects of ritual importance and under the spell of an ancient curse? The investigation returned to where it began, the forests near Deva, close to where the spiral's gold had been mined over 2,000 years ago. It was in these forests that the TV program from 2002 was filmed. Even if the discovery of the spiral was staged, the journalist's story of local treasure hunters finding the golden spirals in the woods now sounded much more plausible. Yet, many locals stuck to their stories, denying any knowledge of the spiral's discovery. Zvonuri erau, da. După 89, am avut și un butic. Oamenii veneau, beau un pahar, nu știu ce făceau, unde se duceau, se duceau, într-adevăr, treceau pe drum, treceau, veneau. Noi când treceau acele mașini, așa, în trombă, noi ne feream, ne ascundeam, ne era frică. Păi cum, nu știi, ăștia au fost, ăștia au săpat, au făcut. Dar n-am văzut, eu nu știu așa ceva, nu am văzut așa ceva. Only the two foresters who appeared in the 2005 trial continued to admit their involvement. Today, one of the looters, Florin, lives in hiding after giving evidence to the police. 
but he agreed to return to his mountain valley home, Gradista de Monte, to show us what happened back in 2000. Aici, de fapt, toți aurarii vineau aici, aici, că era singurul loc. Vine să bei o bere și să pui țara la cale. Dar că sunt 15 ani atunci. Răpăți, au lezut cum am plecat eu. There is something special about the location of Florin's village. It is close to the ancient sanctuary of Samise Getuza, attributed to the Dacian tribes who ruled over Transylvania between 700 BC and 100 AD. Among their leaders was Decebal, the last of the Dacian kings. Over several centuries, locals had been finding gold coins in the forest near one of the sanctuaries, and as recently as 1971. Since then, stories circulated about King Decebal's mysterious treasure. Many believed that there was more gold to be found. It was the fall of communism in 1989 that changed everything. Soon, Western consumer goods flooded into the country, including a device that had become the favorite tool of treasure hunters around the world, the metal detector. Septembre, octombre, cam așa au fost când au venit. Erau interesați de situl arheologice. Au venit aici la bar, au vorbit cu ceva persoane pe aici, cine cunoaște cum, cine caută după aur. M-au întrebat dacă cunosc zona, pot să-i ghidez în teren. Aveau un desetor de metale, aveau fotografii, cărți istorice. Au zis că speologi s-au autorizat și tot legal, normal că te-am ajutat. Deci, în toamna anului 99 am început câteva săptămâni. Au venit iar la frigul, ghețul, nu s-au mai putut săpa. After the winter had passed, they agreed to keep on searching. The gang of looters persuaded Florin and his father to guide them to the site. Păi știam, mă întreba de zona Căvăreața. Eu știam, cunoșteam zonele aici și am adus aici. Deci am urcat de jos din vale, am venit aici unde am dat de platou și am început căutările cu detectorul. Chiar am vorbit atunci când am ajuns aici dimineața. Eu am stat acolo sus, am fumat o țigară și am zis că te neluță, zic, asta e bună, zic, care pierd? Zic, în jurul stâncilor și a izvoarelor, zic, care nu sacă și stâncile. Chiar când am căutat, de ce am săpat, am decopertat sul, am ajuns pe stâncă, o dat cu detectorul și dădea semnalul clar. Și am zis, aici e ceva. Și atunci am căutat frumos marginea la piatră. Am porțat, am văzut că mișcă, am dat departe și după care am ras frumos pământul și atunci am văzut prima vârful la o figurină, capul de lup, cum se zice. Atunci, cu mâna frumos, am scos tot pământul afară, lângă ele, și le-am scos frumos. Trei grupuri. Eu le scoteam nici de gen la neluțiu, le punea acolo la stâncile alea. Am dat din nou cu detectorul, mai pus patru, sub a doilea strat. The gang of looters found ten golden spirals buried in the ground. It was the discovery of a lifetime. Am scos, era peste un kilogram, cum era una în tauta băgate, Aici, atunci am văzut că sunt două bucăți sunt într-un pachet. Erau șase bucăți sus și patru jos. Eu l-am început aici să le la fugă. Nu, în Eluțu. Am început să alerge. Tata am cus să-mi țapă sub piele pe crepat de pene, cură sângele. Eu mă uitam mai. Mi-a luat că zic nebunesc aici. Stat un pic, circa 5-10 minute, după care le-am băgat în geantă și am coborât jos. Valea gălea lui. Și acum așa, acum așa. Și de acolo am început o fără. Back in 2005, Florin's evidence put a spotlight on the looting activities near Deva. He had helped to discover 10 spirals. But Florin wasn't the only one in the forest who was searching for gold. 
Până la urmă s-a și demonstrat că nu exista doar un singur tezaur, ci era vorba de un tezaur de 10 piese care a fost furat în 6 mai 2000, apoi un alt tezaur de 5 piese care a fost furat în 26-27 mai 2001, după un an. Și erau două grupări distincte, cu legătură între ele. Apoi, după o investigație aprofundată, s-a descoperit că, din păcate, exista și un alt tezaur furat. Încă două care au parținut, de fapt, unui cu totul alt tezaur care formează obiectul uh, unui dosar distinct. The Romanian authorities believe that about two dozen spirals were discovered by looters and circulated around the world. More may remain hidden in the ground. But why were they buried here in the first place? Nearly 2,000 years ago, the unruly Dacian tribes who controlled what is now Romania had become a thorn in the side of the mighty Roman Empire in the south. Sarmagetusa apparently functioned as the capital of, of Dacia. It apparently was the seat of the king, uh, Decebal. At the time of the first and second Dacian wars, it was it was clearly functioning as an administrative capital of some sort over a confederacy of tribes, of clans, of families. It's a little unclear because the Dacians did not leave records. In 106 AD, the Roman Emperor Trajan conquered Dacia after five years of warfare. He plundered vast amounts of Dacian silver and gold. Back in the city of Rome, Trajan built a magnificent forum and a huge column to glorify the events of his Dacian campaign. To avoid being captured, King Decebal committed suicide. According to an ancient Transylvanian legend, Decebal buried some of his gold to hide it from the advancing Romans. When the golden spiral suddenly appeared in the early 21st century, people wanted to know if they were part of King Decebal's long lost treasure. To solve the mystery of the golden spirals, the experts had to investigate whether they were designed as ornate jewelry or if they had an altogether different purpose. Clues may be derived from the unique figures at both ends of each spiral. Barbara Deppert believes they are so-called protones, the heads of animals, humans or mythical creatures that are sometimes depicted in ancient art. I think it is a skeleton of the snake when you look at it carefully. And then we have two feathers at, on the side. We have the craft of, let's say, the, a wolf and also the ability to fly. So this is a being that was able to move on the earth, to threaten somewhere, some with a facial expression and to fly, which means have the power on the earth and in the sky, like a dragon. Barbara Deppert's conclusion that the spirals were more than just ornamental bracelets is shared by many experts. The votive devotional purpose is more likely than to be worn. Um, but of course, they could have been worn, but if they were worn, they were worn very seldomly. Ele provin din și documentează zona cea mai înaltă a puterii politico-militare și religioase a societății dacice în, într-un moment de uh, maximă dezvoltare. But why were the spirals buried? Were they part of King Decebal's treasure, which according to legend, had been hidden from the Romans? Aranjarea lor, așa cum spuneam, m-a fascinat. De ce? Pentru că aveam de-a face nu cu o aruncare în groapă și astupare că vin romanii sau vine cineva pe care vrea să le, să le fure. Uh, ele erau aranjate în două încăperi, în două, în două nișe. De pildă, brățările mici erau băgate în brățările mari uh, și dispuse sub forma unei flori, că ele nu prezintă urme de uzură. Ele au fost depuse cu scopul de a proteja așezarea, cu scopul de a proteja locuitorii așezării, pentru că nu întâmplător Majoritatea acestor gropi sunt de regulă pe limitele așezării. 
ele delimitează, ele într-un fel sau altul protejează așezarea. So what kind of divine protection were the Dacians looking for? They had ideas far away from the daily living. They had ideas about um, superior powers, uh, the idea of what was beyond human life. So gold, gold was for the other world. If the spirals were indeed a religious deposit to protect the Dacians in this world or the next, did the treasure hunters offend the ancient deities when they looted the golden spirals? Are the golden spirals cursed? Eu cred foarte mult în aceste blesteme. Nu sunt un mistic, nu sunt un uh, om extrem de aplecat spre, spre misticism. Nu știu dacă vin dintr-un blestem sau din alte lucruri, dar cert este că cei care s-au hazardat și au intrat pe acest tărâm minat, au intrat pe tărâmul științific al arheologilor, n-au terminat bine nici unii. One of those who became involved in the hunt for gold was Florin's brother. Finding treasure was one thing, turning it into cash, another. Noi ce fost ultimul drum la barul ăsta. Și el o găsit comori și de la comori s-o și tras. Certurile și ura și cauza banilor s-o certat cu, cu Can Viorica, cu un Can Ilidiș, cu familia lor. Aveau probleme de cert, de la bani, de la comori, de la căutări, de la... Mie nu prea îmi spunea la ta. Era o pire închisă, care ținea el și își făcea singură dreptate, nu avea nevoie de ajutorul unii. In the middle of a drunken argument about money, Florin's brother pulled out a knife to prove that he wasn't afraid of anything, not even of self-inflicted injury. Scos cu țâtul și tăiat artera pe morală la piciorul drept. Trei minute a fost mort. Are și crucea aceea. So how should the looting of the golden spirals be judged? Extragerea dintr-un context arheologic a unui artefact de către un specialist are și părți pozitive. Nu, niciodată. Nu, este o uriașă de norocire și o uriașă pierdere pentru patrimoniul și cultura românească, dar nu numai pentru cea europeană și pentru uh, cea uh, a omenirii. Au fost pierdute obiecte inestimabile și informații de neînlocuit. And yet, without Florin and his fellow looters with their metal detectors, the spirals might still be underground. Undeva ascuns, da, este un lucru bun. Peste tot se spune o lopată de pământ întoarsă, poate răsturna istoria. Iată aceasta este dovada cea mai bună, că uh, o, un accident, un incident, o posibilă uh, faptă penală a întors uh, istoria. It was something very, very good. It is very, it is very good. It is very good in many ways. Um, of course, it would have been better if the archaeologists had, had discovered it, but unfortunately they did not because they didn't know how to use a metal detector in a way. Barbara Deppert visits the museum that holds some of the spirals she helped to recover. They have become like my children, I think. I find them as overwhelming as I found them the first day. Is, will it be po possible to touch them? Uh, yes, I think yeah. if we can do if we can do that. Hmm? And you think this is something very special? No one ever treated gold like this. Not in the history of mankind. There's no other person. Even the famous South American gold was not treated in a way like this. They just took it as if it were clay and worked on it. I think the heart was in it. Really, it was the heart, the emotions were in it. 
It was very important for them. Aren't they beauties? <laughs> when you look at the sun shining on them. When 13 golden spirals were put on display in Bucharest in 2011, few people realized how much upheaval they had caused since their discovery. Another 11 spirals are believed to be at large. Others may still be in the ground. The story of the golden spirals isn't quite over yet. <laughs>